Hello, I'm finally back with another video. I've been very busy with my Etsy shop and um, I have an order to do for thank you envelopes. So I thought I would turn the camera on because it's for stamping. So um, this is probably going to be a hopefully short video because um, uh, it's very warm here and the farmer next door is haying over there and it just gets me horrible. I I'm just horrible. So, um, and I have a problem. I collect thank you stamps. So I'm pretty sure these are all of them. I'm not positive. There might be more. <laughs> so these are my thank you stamps. I love thank you stamps or just for you or for you or just because. Uh, if I see them, I pick them up. Uh, this is a larger one, not one I'm going to be using today, but I love it. It's by Hero Arts. So, yeah. It, it's pretty cool. I should make um, stickers or something to put uh, little cards um, I do have a stash of cards that I put for thank you. This would be cute if I made my own. I, I will, I have a stash that I, I got, um, and I'm trying to use them up. So once those are gone, I think I might be doing my own. But anyways, there's that. So I got a couple trays, and I've shown these trays before. Um, I think on my last video, I'm not really sure and what... What sparked me to show it is that um, Lorette with uh, the Vintage Paper Girl, she has the bins that these lids go on. They're from Target. I don't know if they still have them anymore, but you could buy the lids separate. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, the bins separate. They, at the time that I bought them, which was probably a couple of years ago, um... They were only a dollar each, and you could buy them separate. But w when I looked at them, and it was in the bathroom section for organizing, I thought of tray, a tray, because these go right in my um, stamp drawer. So I love it. Anyways, enough shitty chatty. I have lots to do today. Today is Friday. I hope everybody has something awesome plan for the weekend and of course I'm going to use my stamping platform um, because I have uh, three forms of arthritis and this helps me I love it um, just trying to see my customer wants style a gold ink and the order is for 12 thank you envelopes so this and the other thing I need to do is update my thank you envelopes I don't have them all in there I started it and this was a project um, it was a customer request they wanted thank you envelopes I sent them several samples and this is the one that they oh excuse me I'm starving um, this is the one that they love, this, this style envelope. And this is just, um, this is thick, uh, white bond paper. I have it on a roll. Um, so it worked out for them. And I have since then got a carnation red, um, archival ink by Ranger. And I love it. I love it. So I'll be using this more. So style A, which is this one here, uh, that's this one, Stampin' Up. So I'll be doing that one. So I'm going to take this out because these are my samples. As you see, I'm, I made quite a few samples and listed them so that you can select which style, A, B, C, D. And I'm pretty sure I have it in there. Um, 
it might be just only white paper I'm not really sure on the white uh, yeah it might be just the white bond paper but yes because um, Etsy only has like two different variations that you can um, make listings for so it's the style that you get to choose and you get to choose your ink color so I do need to add this carnation red in there I, I need to do that so I have I have been doing orders and I have been doing a lot of updating in my shop with the cardstock colors um, it just takes a lot of time and and trying to do new photos so this one here is a so I'm just gonna pull this out and get my stamp set up. I thought I had enough room here for everything, but and it's very warm. Let's see. So I'm just going to set this in here. And sorry, my hands are dry. I just clipped my fingernails. Um, but when you're stamping, you can't have any oil on your fingers. And this is not a nail or hand commercial definitely not uh, so I'm just gonna and I always peel all my stamps looks like I got it from there so I'm just gonna put some double stick tape on the back side of there And it doesn't hurt the, the stamp at all. Some of these are really tricky to line up. just want to smooth that out. Can't really see it. I like the clear stamps for this type of thing, but um, okay, I'm on the right thing. So I should do a piece of paper first so I don't waste an envelope because it is time consuming to cut the envelopes out. I have some uh, my thank you envelopes already cut out here. I am getting low. I do have enough to do an order here but I need to have another session of cutting those out. So I'm just going to stick this paper in here and try to see if I'm lined up kind of Um, they want the gold. This gold, I hope it's good. I always have trouble getting the that plastic thing off. There we go. Okay. Oh, I didn't even show all my thank you stamps. I have quite a few. So I'll probably go through, and I think this is the latest one I got, this little thank you bear. And I always um, try to rotate them out and stamp on uh, customers' receipts, a little thank you. Okay. I need to get it together here. And I've got um, just um, plain old clear embossing powder here. And I have my We Are Memory Keepers tray that I'm going to set them on after I stamp them. But this one here is a sample. I just want to test it first. And I know with the, the gold, uh, this is the Brilliance, which is really beautiful. But you can't really mash these into the stamp. Um, because you will lose the detail. So I'm just going to test this out first just to see. It's been a while. Starving. Sorry, I'm going to take a quick drink here. My, uh, Electrolytes, water, try to keep hydrated. 
excuse me. Oh, okay, I can't see that at all. I'm hoping the sink pad's not dried up, but it might be just get it. Sometimes you need to build up. Oh, well. And sometimes it's like you need to emboss it just to make it pop. So I'm going to try that. Put a piece of paper here so I can close this. Oopsie. This uh, video is going to be real. You're going to hear all the noises. But this is my process. And this is why I'm doing videos is to share my process. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I'm going to turn my uh, heat tool on. sure about that that's really not what I expected and that is the gold that I I might need to get another gold um okay it might be different for the actual envelope itself so okay Sorry. Let's see. Let's just do the envelope. And I'm going to use my embossing buddy here to so that I only get powder where I want it. It's just cleaner. And I just keep it in this old, I think. Uh, yeah, this is a gum container. So it just keeps it clean dry and um yeah all right um let's see i probably should have pre-folded these but that's okay in this envelope die um, i'm trying to think who it's by I think it's Sizzix. I don't know. I might be wrong. Just going to try to line that up right there. Let me look. I use it for a lot of things. I should have pulled it out. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's Sizzix Stamps of Life. I love this. Uh, I love this die. And it's um, like all one. It And it's solid. I mean, it's really nice. Really, really nice. Love it. Not much that I don't like. Okay. All right, let's try this and see what happens. I don't know if this gold is going to show up. I might have to get another gold. I have time if I need to buy some inked, but I really don't want to go to the stores for sure. Like an hour away from me. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to put something there too so it doesn't slam. There we go. Just not sure about that ink if it's going to show up. 
I might need to get a new gold. Um, I think that's my only gold. Yeah, just don't do much gold at all. Oh, you know what? Okay. All right. I'll be all right. Now I remember. All right. I'm a little slow. But... It's been a while. All right, I'm going to heat set this, and then I'm going to show you how I do the gold. This is not how I do the gold because this is like very faint. This would be good, like I love this on dark cardstock, like red or black or something like that for Christmas or the green. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to heat set this so it's going to be noisy. Yeah, it just doesn't pop. I mean, it is pretty, but it just doesn't pop like it should. So I'm going to grab my gold um, embossing powder. So let me uh, close this up before I throw it all over the place. Because that's something that could happen. Sorry, that thing is so noisy. All right, I gotta dig for my gold. <laughs> okay, I've got white. Uh, embossing powder. One of my daughters got me that and I love that. Um, this is the gold I use. Princess gold. This is Ranger. And this is the silver. This is Ranger. So yeah, that's what I use. I, I totally forgot about it. Alright, so now I'm going to need my paper plate. Oh... You're getting the real me drama today, that's for sure. Okay, this is going to work out. So I'm just going to grab another envelope. I'm just folding it, oopsie, in on itself. I could have glued these, but I don't like to do that. I've done it before, and the heat gun doesn't bother it, but um, I'm just going to wing it here. Because if it doesn't stamp right, I don't want to waste a lot of time gluing and, and stuff like that. So, um, got to do this. Because we don't want gold ink or powder everywhere. That should work. Okay, first a mark. Where are you? Mm. And of course, I gotta stand up for it. I've got two here. I'm not sure what the difference is why I have two, but um, I'm just gonna use the uh, where's the mark ink? Okay. Hopefully this is the uh, the new one, and oh, I need to clean that off. Okay. 
I'm going to try to do it gently because I don't want to move my stamp. I've got it already set up, ready to go. Okay. And this is just, uh, I need a new one. Uh, I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby. It's a stamp cleaning pad. You just wet it. And then I hang it to dry. When it dries, it's like it's like cardboard. But then it comes right back to life. <clears throat> All right, I still got a little bit on there, but I don't think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be okay. I just want it dry. Where's my other little thing? I can't find nothing. Um. Hmm. Okay. Everything's hiding on me right now, so that's okay. Be that way. Oh, I hope you can't hear my stomach because it's growling like feed me. Okay, I'm just going to use the first mark. I think you're going to really like the, uh, the outcome. I mean, this is nothing new. It's, it's all been done, but... I learned from watching other people and it's really hard to tell if it did anything so I'm not really I'm just gonna go for it I'm already at 21 minutes and I'm, I'm not even got out of the gate yet here Wow going to be generous. Oh yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. Okay, noisy. Yeah, I like that. Um, you uh, you want your heat gun nice and hot before you uh, start to heat set. Um, I'm not an expert, but I do a lot of this embossing. And it also helps um, with the towel because there is moisture. This is just something that works for me. And then I have this extra mat underneath just to protect whatever's underneath that. So this is kind of my setup that works for me. Um, and you don't want to put your heat gun like right on there. Just keep it up. You can kind of see. You want to keep a distance away. I kind of know because I've done it. I do a lot of this. So um, the closer you put it to your project like this, you're not doing it. It's just burning the uh, embossing powder into the paper, and sometimes it can disappear. So, and I know this from trial and error. <laughs> so, yeah. I had to watch a lot of Tim Holtz videos to, to get it perfected, because I'm like, what am I doing wrong? So anyways, okay, there's that. So much better. That's gold. All right, so I'm going to need 12 of those, and I need a clean bucket to put them in. I think I got one here. We always need a bucket. All right, so I need 11 more. So what I would do, and I just wanted to show you what it, what it looked like so what I'm I'm gonna do is do um, 11 more get them all with the embossing powder and then on my tray then he set them all at once because if you do that process and that works for this type of mass making 
you only have to flick that switch on your uh, heat gun one time. I have worn them out from constantly clicking them on and off, on and off. Plus two, your heat gun's already uh, warmed up and the process goes so much quicker. Just, just my process. How, okay. All right, I'm gonna put this back in just to just to make sure I have enough. I do have one of those plastic, <clears throat> excuse me, trays where you, you dump it in. It's like a blue tray and then you can, uh, it's got a funnel thing and you can dump it out. That does not work for me. I, I don't care for it. But it seems to stick more inside the tray. I prefer the paper plate. And I've had this paper plate for quite a while. All right. I'm going to take another drink. Hopefully my stomach will say, yay, I'm happy. All right. 11 more to go. Try to... Wished I had folded these. They're just the lines there. Let me get that one straight, did I? I was hoping to get a bunch of uh, samples done with some of my other ones, but I'm I'm not going to have time for that today. And as you can see by using the embossing buddy, how clean that is. There's there's no gold anywhere. Flex. It's beautiful. Alright, first mark. Kind of hard to tell with that. until you put the powder on. Now I can't pick nothing up today. I'm going to set that on my tray and continue on. Hopefully I'll have enough in my jar. I probably need to get another jar of that. Use the gold a lot, especially on Christmas stuff. Just started um, selling Christmas die cuts. Um, it's, it, it's getting that season again where people are wanting. I had some stuff uh, packed away a little bit, but I did keep my Christmas paper out. So, yeah. I try not to put everything away, because it could be all year round somebody order something die cut out of Christmas paper. Okay, I'm just going to shut my door because I'm filming and I forgot to shut my door. Be right back. <clears throat> All right, it looks like I picked up a little bit of red ink on there, but I don't think it's going to matter. No, because the gold um, covers it up. Okay, 
this die here, if if you fold it like there's a right and a wrong because you could feel that edge where it cut. If you fold it to the wrong way first, you get that crease and then fold it back. Hopefully that's, I can use this, but it does shake the camera. I'm just going to fold this out so I don't get any powder in the creases. Yep. Okay. Moving right along. I would, it would go a lot quicker if I had pre-folded these. And these thank you envelopes comes with a little card that fits inside. Um, and that was just designed for my customer that wanted the um, uh, custom order. That was That's what we worked out. And it comes with a blank sticker to seal it. Um, and she was ordering quite a few of them, so I just made it a thing in my shop for her so that she could just order what she wanted. That's usually how most of my items become items in my Etsy shop, is somebody saying, hey, can you do this, can you do that? And I do my best. At some point, I'm going to have to dump this uh, powder back in. That is so cute. I love that. I love everything. Okay. I'm trying not to sweat because <laughs> then I run into a lot of problems. I'm pretty generous with that embossing powder, uh, this thing here, just because I know it, it, the results is, is amazing. You don't get that overage. And this thing is like gold to me. I love it. Oopsie. My envelopes are too big for my tray. Okay. How many is that? Five. Okay. This one's number six. Then once I do my uh, 12, my customer's order, I want to try this uh, carnation red. So I'm excited about that. I've been looking for a good red. Um, I think on my last video I was using the red or love letter red. I think it's by Memento. I don't have that here. Um, it was the only red that I could find that was like a deep, real, real red. And the only thing is, is it's kind of like a pigment ink. So I was having to stamp it three or four times just to get a really good imprint. But uh, I tried this once and I, I really love it. So I think I might take that other one out and put that one in. 
uh, because I have a customer that orders everything red, stamped red, and this is the customer that wanted these. So um, I might send her some samples with this red and see if she likes it. If she likes it, I'm going to tell her I'm taking that other red out because I don't like it. I like it, but I don't, you know, just you have to stamp too many times to get to what you want. All right. That's six, and I don't want them touching each other. I'm so ready for lunch. My tummy's like, yes, yes. So if you've seen my Instagram, you know that we just harvested garlic and we will be replanting um, somewhere around the end of September or thereabouts. I was just told by my husband that we will be planting um, 3,300 bulbs of garlic this year so yeah uh, the biggest thing will be um, tilling up the area that we where we're gonna put it we have tilled there before did a lot of rock pulling uh, made our own rock wall with all the rocks we pulled out uh, but yeah it's got grass now it's like a golf course so it'll be some work but something we want to try this year and next year sell garlic so we'll see we've been i don't know how many years uh growing the garlic just to build our stash up of organic uh homegrown garlic it's not from the store nothing it's all organic started out I think we got garlic from local farmers um, Baker's Creek and that's how we've been building up our stash so every year you plant it, it it's kind of like gremlins just add water and garlic's the easiest thing to grow, too. Low maintenance. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three more. Perfect. I took out a perfect amount. I think they all look good, so I'm not going to make any extra. I might make one extra, just in case. Just to have. I love doing stuff like this, where it's just assembly line and... Yeah, so the garlic thing will be uh, a big, big project. We'll have to start working on the land soon. Because um, my husband works, and uh, it, it'll just be the weekend to, to get the, uh, that pasture ready. And I'll try to um, do like little short clips or videos. Um, and, and post it on Instagram so you can kind of see the area and stuff and what we're doing. It'd be cool. Okay.
I might not need to dump my powder and start over. Hopefully not. So I've been really busy with my shop and I want to, I got a couple shout out uh, to two beautiful people that have sent customers my way. Um, the first is uh, Lorette, the vintage paper girl. Thank you, Lorette. Um, I've been super busy since she did the um, Etsy share video I appreciate it and then um, Lori from Enchanted Dreams I think it's 71 and uh, thank you Lori I appreciate it she also did a shop share video so I've been super busy I so appreciate it And thank you for all the new subscribers. I'm up to, uh, I think I, last time I looked, 180. I know that's not really a lot, but for me, I'm not going for any goals or anything like that or marathon or anything. But uh, yeah, really cool. That one did not fold good. I think I'm going to save that for another day. Um, so yeah, I'm at 180 subscribers and I, I really appreciate everybody leaving me comments and thumbs up and stuff like that. And It took me a long time to to do videos. I just didn't, you know, didn't know what to do. And basically, I'm just wanted to do videos, just sharing what I'm working on and how I do things. Hopefully, get some kind of inspiration from it, or ideas, or shortcuts. Oopsie. The, I'm not going to put that on top. The gold, um, when you have the Versamark, um, you can um, be a little bit more aggressive in tapping some of that powder off. Because the Versamark, it really sticks. But when you're using the uh, clear embossing powder, you just want to gently tap it because it will you will lose your your powder so okay this is the last one and I think this is an extra one getting quite warm in my room I think it's 70 something outside. Okay, there's that. All right, I think I'm going to dump this back in. Put my lid on so my, that stays clean. And I'm going to do one with the, oh Lord, finish your sentence, um, the clear embossing in the carnation red. There we go. All right, let me put these aside. Okay, now I need my powder back. And 
and this is just the clear embossing powder and I buy it in a big uh, container and just dump it in here it's so much easier um, and I have it on a tray for extra protection because I do spill it all right I'm gonna clean this off and then do this red and see how it how it is I think it moved on me I'm not sure maybe okay Let's see what this looks like that's that's kind of what I want to do is go through all of these uh, samples I have quite a few make a sample I'll probably do it in the red because that's what my customer likes and then take photos and get them get them on my update my Etsy because they're not all on there I don't know how many is on there I think only six I think I only have to F so yeah I need to finish that been wanting to do it for quite a while now Okay, let's see what this looks like. Hopefully I didn't move this when I was cleaning it. That's pretty. Okay, I'm going to put some powder on it. Okay, it looks like I got a finger mark right there. Um, just looking for my paintbrush. Whoopsie. I can see that there's powder right here. And it's probably from my finger. I didn't get the embossing buddy quite there. But you can just take a paintbrush and clean off anything before you heat set it. I'm going to heat set this one so we can see what it looks like. All right, a little noisy. Pretty cool. I like the red. And that's the Carnation Red Ranger. So, all right. Well, that's my share for today. I'm going to go eat my lunch and then pack up my order. And I uh, hope everybody has a awesome weekend. I might be back with another video over the weekend. You never know. All right. Take care. Bye.